Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is one of my favorite prototypes that I've come out with. Uh, I just finished uh, getting the code to actually work. It's certainly not optimized. It's certainly not with full functionality, but uh, I'm totally excited about it. Uh, what this is, is a uh, the prototype, obviously not the final product, uh, infrared learning board. And so... Uh, it, what it would come with, I'm going to actually make this into a Kickstarter, uh, it would come with a little uh, low quality remote, but it would also work with uh, many other remotes. This is my TV remote, and what it does is you enter into program mode, and you enter in uh, 10 different buttons, and I'll show you that in just a second, and then you enter into scan mode. Uh, you unplug and you enter into scan mode, and when you do that, what happens is, is there's 10 LEDs on the board, there's actually 11, one's an indicator, um, and the 10 LEDs will light up in correspondence to the button you press, and it saves in, in, into uh, internal EEPROM memory. So let me give you a quick demonstration. Right now I've got it in program mode, uh, I've got a little jumper here, connecting an I.O. port, an input to ground, putting it in program mode, plug it in, and I'm going to enter in the code 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. And once I enter in that tenth code, the LED stays on. Now that's the, that's the programming LED that tells me that a code has been properly programmed. Now what I have to do is unplug, take the jumper off, connect it to five volts. This is one of my prototyping boards, by the way. I made these prototyping boards up so that I could easily prototype up uh, any given circuit or with well within reason in any case now I've got it connected to 5 volts that input so I plug it in now it's in scanning mode if I press 1 the LED 1 uh, will come on 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so let's let's try it 1 if I press 1 again it toggles, it toggles it off again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 0 now I can also use this little guy which is just a cheap little remote it is compatible and that's probably what I would be offering in the Kickstarter but again certain remotes work perfectly and uh, this remote works absolutely perfectly it's fan it's it's really I'm really happy with this because uh it literally took me probably about 20 hours over the last month trial and error to get this to finally work the way I wanted it to. Now, there's a lot of uh, a lot of optimization that I need to uh, do, but um, it's working quite well. Now, if I enter in an incorrect code, the indicator LED just tells me wrong code, wrong code, and I'm entering the volume up, channel up, channel down. But if I press one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, and 0, I can toggle them on and off. So if I toggle 5, press 5 again, the 5th LED toggles off. If I press 4 again, LED 4 toggles off. If I press 1, LED 1 toggles off. So, very happy with this. The final product will have momentary mode, so you hold the button down, and it will turn an LED on until you let go of that button, at which point it will turn that LED off. So you'll have a toggle mode and a momentary mode just by selecting a certain jumper. Now I've actually got PCBs in that are coming in that were actually going to be used with my own encoder, but uh, in my own remote. But this is a hundred times cooler, and you can actually save into EEPROM memory. So if I unplug it, I've just disconnected power. I plug it back in, and I press one. It saved it into EEPROM memory. So. Uh, I've got another product, uh, an infrared learning board, or, uh, but it only has one relay on it, and it doesn't save that data into EEPROM memory after power off. This does, and it's got 10 outputs. So you can connect those to relay boards, you can do whatever you want. It's a, it's a very stable circuit, and I'll actually have PCBs, again, that are compatible with this specific circuit in, a, in about a week. So I'll be making another Kickstarter, and hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys might... Uh, check check it out down the road. I'll have it posted at engineeringshot.com. So I just wanted to share it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, hope you're having a great weekend and uh, enjoy the rest of it.